Hello there. Welcome to DNA Edits. Today's topic is alkaline phosphatase. Let us uh, look into the role of alkaline phosphatase in uh, DNA cloning. Alkaline phosphatases are used for the removal of fibrin phosphate groups from linearized vectors in order to prevent the recirculation or self ligation and vector dimer formation so when a linearized vector is dephosphorylated by alkaline phosphatase there is no way that that vector is going to self ligate because phosphate is not available when there is no phosphate there is no phosphodiester bond in the market there are four alkaline phosphatases are available the first one is e coli alkaline phosphatase second one is cough intestinal alkaline phosphatase third one is shrimp alkaline phosphatase and the fourth one is antarctic alkaline phosphatase four cofactors of these alkaline phosphatases are zinc and magnesium these alkaline phosphatases removes the phosphate group from dna and rna so alkaline phosphatases works by hydrolyzing the phospho monoester bond it hydrolyzes the phospho monoester bond cop bond cop bond and releases phosphate group from the substrates so and heat inactivation the dephosphorylation reactions can be inhibited by keeping the reaction at 65 degree centigrade for 5 minutes and these days scientists are preferring the shrimp alkaline phosphatase and antarctic alkaline phosphatase because they are heat labile and the dephosphorylation reaction can be inhibited quickly and downstream reactions also will have no problem when they use the shrimp alkaline phosphatase and antarctic alkaline phosphatase in the next slide i will explain the how self ligation of vector and how vector dimers are formed genomic dna is digested to generate the insert consist of 5 prime phosphates and 3 prime oh similarly the circular vector is digested by ecor1 to produce the linearized vector the linearized vector consist of 5 prime phosphates and 3 prime oh and uh, vectors and inserts are subjected to ligation ligation reaction happens at uh, 16 degree centigrade for 4 uh, to 5 hours once the ligation is completed the ligation mixture is transformed when when you screen the transformants and you find most of them are vectors in the from transformants most of them are vectors from the transformants 90% 90% of the transformants consist of self ligated vectors only few one or two one or two or one or two percent of the transformant consist of the recombinant molecule so if you screen 100 colonies only 90 and above transformant colonies may contain contain self ligated vectors then one or two one or two colonies may contain recombinant molecule so screening of 100 colonies is a cumbersome right so instead of if you use the dephosphorylation if you dephosphorylate the uh, linearized vector then we can increase the recombinants in the transformants so how we can do that i will explain in the next slide here in this uh, process 
linearized vector is subjected to depasporalization by alkaline phosphatase so alkaline phosphatase removes the phosphate group from linearized vector phosphate group from linearized vector from pi prime the phosphate groups are removed now linearized vector without phosphate groups and insert with the phosphate groups are ligated ligated now ligated and this ligation mixture is transformed then you can see the transformants consist of recombinants than the self ligated vectors how come it is possible when depasporated vector which is not having the pi prime phosphates so there is no possibility to form a phosphodiester bond between the 3 prime oh and pi prime phosphate of the vector now the phosphodiester bond is formed between the 3 prime oh of the vector and pi prime phosphate of the insert so removal of the pi prime phosphates of the vector facilitates the and force the formation of phosphodiester bond between the 3 prime oh of the vector and pi prime phosphate of the insert that increases the recombinants production and decreases the self ligation as well as the vector dimer formation this is how you can solve the problem of self ligation and vector dimer vector dimer formation hope you all likes this video and hopes and if at all you like this video subscribe for regular updates and thank you all